Hi, I'm Barry Garner from LNS Chip Blaster Service. Today, we're going to install a skin blaster on this bad boy over here. Why should I get a skin blaster? Well, all the oil in, in the machine tool, you, you know, your way lube, your hydraulic stuff, will all end up mixing with the coolant. Um, guess what likes oil and petroleum based products? Bacteria. And that's why you're getting that, that nasty, rancid smell in your coolant. Also, it can cause dermatitis and eczema for your operators. Um, so if you want to make your coolant last longer, not stink, and your operator is not itching, Skim Blaster is the way to go. All right, how the skimmer works is the oil is attracted to this belt. The belt obviously turns. Get, oil gets scraped off in here, goes down. Now what makes this a little bit different is, is the oil actually separates from the water or the coolant. So it'll go and then the clean stuff will come out this side and return to our tank. The actual oil will go down in here and we have a, a bucket or you can just use your regular five gallon bucket to go in there. And then that's how that works. That's what makes it kind of different than all the other skimmer. All right, first thing we gotta do is make sure the chip blaster is powered off. Next thing you do, there, there's a blank in here. So it's either in the front or in the back here, depending on when it was built. Um, it's always going to have a float. So the other blank is the, it's for the skimmer. All right. Now you just want to insert the skimmer and line it up with the, the holes. Take the self tapper bolts that come in your kit. Now that the skimmer is mounted, I gotta tell you that on some of the newer units, these are rotated 90 degrees, so you'll just have to line it up with the pilot holes that are already in the plate and then mount it down there. Um, next, we're gonna do the plumbing. This is the optional bucket that we were talking about. It does not come with the kit, but it is an option. Tubing comes with the kit. You wanna push it in the push lock fitting. Measure it down. Cut off the length. And stick it in there. Now there's one more. It's located back here. And that's going to be the return to the tank. With the clean. So you just want to stick that in there. And push that in there. All right, now that the plumbing is all done, now comes the fun part, the electric. Make sure the chip blaster is turned off. Open up the door. And in your kit, you're going to have a fuse and the cord grip. So you want to knock out all. They're already pre-cut. doesn't take hard to so screwdriver and hammer. Just pop that out cord grip in there As you can see I already got the the wire pushed through the the rubber bushing in the and the nut so you want to take that put it up through your cord grip and start it and leave it a little loose so you can get the slack and, and make sure you get it where it needs to be Next, we install the fuse. Uh, the skimmer fuse is, is, is labeled SKMFU. So what you want to do is, might have to move some things around, create a little space on the on the DIN rail. Just slide it up in there and lock it down. Then you want to take your skimmer wire, route it up through there. Now the black wire is going to go to the bottom of that fuse. Take your screwdriver, they're all push lock, push it in. 
going to go now the clear wire is going to go to 24 com on the terminal strip all right now to get power to the fuse i already installed the the blue wire that's going to go in there so you start off on the output two on the main plc and then down to the top of the fuse And then there you go. Tidy everything up, put the wireways back on, and then we can do discuss how to enter the option on the on the HMI so it'll actually function. All right, the last and final thing we have to do is is get in the HMI so the PLC knows what to do with the skimmer. The best way to do that on this super 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 secret stuff is hit the question mark touched by the L you'll see that black box appear that means you know you're in the right spot hold it for a little bit name and password come up the name would be C B customer and then push enter the password is customer And then hit the numbers and then the number one enter and we hit the unlock make sure the current user says CB, cb customer if it does you're good to go if it doesn't and you probably entered something wrong hit the home screen that settings will appear settings configuration menu options enable and then you'll see the skimmer push that make sure that's yellow hit the home button and then log out and then then she's all set the plc will know what to do with skimmer and don't freak out <clears throat> but when the, the chip blasters sits and they're not calling for high pressure the timer starts and the reason it does because we want the coin to settle in here before the the skimmer starts working the pumps will turn on to get it overflow over the baffle so all the nasty oil comes up to the front to let the belt do its job more efficiently and then it'll do this cycle two times but again don't freak out it's gonna it's gonna get almost full um, and then it'll do that twice and then you call for high pressure the timer starts all over again so if you call for high pressure constantly the skimmer is never gonna turn on so you're gonna let it, let it sit for a while and it'll take care of its business now, we do have this option just for your machine tool sump. You can get a simple 110 and a timer, so it's just a plug. Plug the timer into the, into the outlet, put the plug in there, set the timer, it'll do its thing. Uh, again, well, I guess that's it. So this will help you get rid of your, your nasty coolants, your itchy operators. And as always, if you have anything you would like to see, please let us know, and, and, and we'll make a video teach you how to do that. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.